Now let's take a look at how to control the motion of a hinge and the bodies attached to it. Now in this example we are going to focus on the rotation side of things. You can also set these parameters and it's a similar behavior for translation. But for now, Notice that we have a minimum angle of zero and a maximum angle of 175 degrees set. And as we move this around, we can go from zero to 175. Well, if I deactivate the minimum, I can start coming back around the other side. So your minimum is going to be the lowest value that the angle can be set. Now, if I take this negative turn set on, it snaps to that minimum position. So it's going to automatically adjust this range or the position based on what your min and max values are. Now let's go ahead and rotate this by dragging it up and notice that because we're not rotating the second hinge, at some point these will hit each other. But let's say at about that position is where we would like this to stop. Well rather than typing in this current value, all you have to do is click the set button. That'll take the current position and apply it to the maximum value. You can do the same thing to the minimum value. But notice that as we're dragging, we're not getting any motion out of this range. We're only really getting behavior here because our range is different than when we set our min and maximum values. To fix that, all you have to do is click the range button. And what that has done has set the minimum value all the way to the left and the maximum value all the way to the right so that now one full drag from one side to the other is your full range of motion for this hinge component. And that makes things very, very easy to manipulate and very intuitive. So in this case, we're going from zero to 100% of the full rotation of this hinge. Now, you can apply, again, these same settings to translation, and you can set min, max, and your range accordingly, and you can have very easy manipulation of these components.